Good morning, good morning, and happy Friday. Yes, you made it. Happy Friday to you. Enjoy the day and look forward to the time that you have on the weekend to perhaps, uh, whether it's decluttering or just um, enjoying time with family, friends, uh, even sleeping. Sleeping is good. I like sleeping. Uh, enjoy. But before we get to that, we and you may actually want to declutter your emails, which is our topic this week. I am Kitty Anders with Declutter the Brain, and what do I do? I help people to, especially entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs that are they're they're looking at it, to at being one to declutter their space and brain so that they can experience that all important mental clarity, calm and confidence that is, uh, we all need it. We, we deserve it. Hmm? Yes, and decluttering is the way to go. Now, uh, something that can cause some stress is of course emails. He has that T-Rex of tech that just seems to breed overnight, doesn't it? Right, okay, so first thing you wanna do is set some sort of time that you can turf the obvious garbage. Now, I suggest doing it a little bit every day. Uh, there are some, as soon as you open that in that inbox, you're gonna see things that can be turfed right away, whether it's a shopping email or, uh, you know what I'm talking about, you're all intelligent people. Um, turf the obvious garbage first. When it comes to, uh, well, Kitty, I've got 20,000, okay. You can either start, uh, spend five minutes a day, for example, or schedule a time time on the weekend and, and do a chunk. Oh my goodness heavens, you can get a lot done because you're hyper-focusing on that, you see. And certainly something that I know is going to make a difference is uh, unsubscribing from one. How many, guys? Yeah, one. E um, email that you no longer need anymore. Just unsubscribe from it. And it will, after about a month, you're going to be amazed at, at, at the volume that's less. Remember, time is money. So set a time, uh, a viewing time limit. And if you have to look at them in the morning, if you're an entrepreneur, then set a time limit minus 20 minutes because they all start to blend together after that and skim them use the color you know, use color codes which we're which we're going to get to address the time sensitive ones first you're going to be able to see which and if you need to open them quickly and then mark them as unread address it to see then do that address the time sensitive ones with uh, address them right away but go through them all first. Don't address them during this 20 minutes. Go through your emails and then you can you can go backwards, okay? You wanna get rid of most of the trash or at least categorize things. One email account is not enough. You, you need to have at least two, I'm afraid. Oh, well, that's more clutter. Trust me, it will help, help your email management. You want one, if you're an entrepreneur, you, you want one for business only and another one for bulk mail outs. Uh, you may need one for personal as well. Google will give you as many as you want. I have five and I primarily use two, but the others are there for special projects. So whatever you need to do, and uh, you can book a call with me and we can, we can go through how to set this up. Um, yeah. Where are we at here? Right, now we get to color coding, one of my favorite subjects. What I find helpful and what some of my clients have found helpful is to color code by category. What do I mean by that? Uh, I have an ex uh, explanation, exclamation point, point for things that, uh, that I need to do. Maybe a purple question mark for what I'm going to send to my assistant. Uh, the the rest of them I have ten, and they're all for say for example one of my mentors Danella hers is a green check mark. Uh, another mentor Kim Kimberly from Speakers Playhouse hers is uh, little arrows in orange. Um, 
Anyway, then this way, at an instant, I can deal with with every with Danella's category, and I stick with it. Uh, whatever works for whatever works for you, but really categorizing really makes a difference. Today, be done with it. Okay, now uh, getting them out of your line of sight. Once you're done with them, and you know that they, you need them, if you can't trash them, you need to keep them. The receipts or or continuing correspondence, file them under the tabs that, that Google or what have you provide for you. Again, I can show you how to do this if, you, if, you, if you're just not quite sure. You probably know, but you know, there's always uh, something an old dog can, uh, tricks that can, can um, share with you or dispose of it as soon as you're done with it. One way or the other, get it out of your line of sight because it's just visual clutter, which causes mental stress. That's it for this week. Um, until next week when we talk about Halloween is coming, ladies and gentlemen, are there ghosts in your closet? Uh -huh. Download your seven easy steps to conquer your physical and mental clutter. And there's a handy link there that you can reserve your quick and no cost call with me. Let's see if we can't get you on that road to mental clarity, calm, confidence through decluttering your space and brain more quickly than you ever thought possible. Have a terrific weekend, everybody. Bye for now.